I'm Ron McGill. Welcome to another episode of Zoo Academy. Here we are feeding the pelicans. You know, again, the zoo's closed, but all the animals got to get fed. Sean here is taking care of our pelicans. These are all rehabilitated pelicans in the sense that they are non-releasable back into the wild. We have two types of pelicans here. We have the brown pelican and we have the greater white pelican. Pelicans are unique birds, probably best known for that incredible bill that they have and that guler pouch sack that they have to capture fish. Now, brown pelicans are one of the smallest types of pelicans in the world, and they hunt by diving into the water. They'll go straight down into the water, sometimes 10, 20 feet into the water opening their mouths and grabbing fish that way. The greater white pelicans, which are one of the largest pelicans in the world, they fish a little differently. Sometimes they just swim down and they dip their bills into the water and they can catch a bunch of fish that way. They can hold up to three gallons of water inside that, that throat pouch of theirs. They are basically fish eaters, as most people know. And the pelicans get hurt a lot of times by people who catch them with hooks, with fishing line. Uh, people who think it's good to feed these animals in the wild don't do that because what they do is they start to associate people with food and that's how they get in trouble. They're getting hooked up in the monofilament lines, they get hooks in their mouths, and that's how these birds got injured and unfortunately now cannot be released. Now the brown pelicans, you can see them, they have that white head. As they get older and they get in that breeding age, the males get the beautiful golden color on the top of their heads. You'll notice on the white pelicans, on the bill, they grow this type of growth that, that starts to develop on the top of the bill. The males that growth gets quite large during breeding season, it's their way of looking masculine, looking good for the ladies. So that's a, a display thing that they'll use. Now the white pelicans can get to be over 30 pounds, well, over 20 pounds, between 20 and 30 pounds, one of the largest of the pelicans, whereas the brown pelicans get to be anywhere between seven and 12 pounds. They have web feet, again, for swimming through the water very efficiently. But the one thing about them that's also really cool is when you watch them glide over the water, watch pelicans as they swim, they'll do their wingtips, just touch the water as they're gliding down along the water. So basically that's our pelicans here at our Florida Mission Everglades exhibit. Great examples of animals you'll see in the Everglades. Looking forward to having you come back and seeing them here at the zoo. Hey, I'm Ron McGill here in my office at Zoo Miami. I hope you're enjoying Zoo Academy. And listen, if you've got any questions regarding any of the things you see on any of the segments, please email them to education at zoomiami.org. And hopefully I can get to some of them in future segments and give you some good answers. We'll see you around.